Roots and Wings, your philanthropy uh, is, is pretty legendary. Talk a little bit about okay. that. I'll, I'll go into the name first. I was driving my two younger kids, maybe they were five and 10 at the time, my two daughters. And as I was driving, I said to them, what are the two things your parents need to give you? And they looked a little puzzled and then they whispered and then you could see them jumping up and down. They knew the answer, food and money. <laughs> so I said, roots and wings. We need to give roots so you're strong and wings so you can fly. And I had seen those words used before. I didn't make them up. But I had seen them and I thought, really good words. Years later, when it came time to figure out what in the world do I do with the stock I own, which is representative of a lot of money, what do I do with it? Uh, put it to a foundation and let them give it out. Uh, my kids remembered the Roots and Wings conversation and said, you have to call the foundation Roots and Wings. So I was really pleased that they remembered it. And what they're really aiming at is, because one of the things we say at Epic is, make decisions for 25 to 50 years in the future, don't make them for today. So Roots and Wings is trying to help young uh, babies with early brain development, so years from now, they'll be better. Uh, George Haverson, who was the CEO of Kaiser for quite a few years, told me that those first two years are 90% of the brain growth of the baby, and if you miss that, you're out of luck. And so why miss that? And then the, the remaining 10% is usually in the third year. So Roots and Wings is trying to help uh, from prenatal to two in particular, and three things, read to your baby. It doesn't matter if the baby's a month old, read to your baby, sing to your baby, because we all remember things put to music, and talk to your baby, and don't put the baby in front of the TV. So they give books out, they're giving um, books out once a month to newborns, uh, with appropriate for age, <laughs> uh, with, um, advice to the parents to read to their kids. So that's the main thing. We're also dealing with uh, helping the needy who don't have health care be able to get uh, their care taken care of.